You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, new options for people with gum disease or periodontal disease. According to my first guest, he says nobody should have bleeding gums, bad breath, loose teeth, big red puffy gums, and he's using a laser to reverse this problem uh, with, with great results in Arizona. With us, we have an expert on the topic, uh, Dr. Otteson. Dr. Otteson, welcome to the program. Thank you, thank you for having me. Now, we've had you on the program before talking about what you do with mini implants for people that are wearing dentures and you lock them in with these mini implants. Right. Uh, but, you know, today we're talking about lasers. But for people that don't know your practice, I guess you do just about everything. You have this concept right. of everything right there. Right. Chandler, we're practicing in Chandler, Arizona. We have a general practice. We generally do everything that uh, in, inside of our practice. We do the whitening, you know, where we're able Is to... Is that hot? Is that popular? Yeah, absolutely. It's always, has been for some time. We can take the through that bleaching and whitening process, take that 40-year-old and make them look younger and give them a, a lighter, youth, okay. youthful smile. Uh, we do fillings and crowns and, and root canals and, and bridges. You do crowns in the same day, like you have a machine? Yes, we do. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, that's right. We use a CEREC system, so we're able to do uh, design and, and mill and fabricate that crown. You know, the old way, right? What's you the old way? In, the old way, you go in and, and you get numb, you prepare the tooth, they take that goopy impressions, make a temporary send, send it to the lab for a couple of weeks, and then have you back and go through the whole process again, getting numb and Now, that old way is how it's normally done, though. That's normally how it's done. Okay. Yeah, there's, uh, there's about 5% of us, I believe, in the country that's using that, that uh, CAD have your CAM. Own machine. Yeah, that CAD CAM technology. So we're able to do it in a day. A great, uh, great advance in dentistry, and, and I love doing that. For people who are losing their teeth, we can. We can replace those teeth with, with mini implants. We can do that surgery right there. So you, but, you're a general dentist, but right. you, you said on the phone that you're, a, you're called a continuing education junkie amongst yeah, your dental right, friends. Right. What does that mean? That means I enjoy learning and, and uh, learning from, some, from those uh, colleagues who are very well known in, in the industry. So you're always industry. traveling, learning these things? Yes. Is there yeah. that much? It's all over the country, absolutely. Okay. Hor uh, David Hornbrook, I think he's been on the yeah, show, show, yeah. show, and uh, you know Frank Spear, Gordon Christensen, I've all mentored under. These are all know. like the legends. These are yeah, these are yeah, very well known. So you can dentistry. like literally rebuild them out. We can rebuild them out. We can take them. That, that's that's the artistic part of dentistry that I love. You know, there's the technical part that you learn in dental school, but it's that artistic part that brings me joy. The way we lose teeth, number one cause of, of loss of teeth is gum disease. You know, where, where you've got those maybe loose teeth or bad breath or bleeding gums. What is, it, gum, I mean, what is gum disease? What defines it? What, what gum disease actually is, is a bacterial infection within the, within the, the pocket. or You know those little numbers? You go into your dentist and you the take the little hygienist and they take those little numbers. Like those six, numbers are telling us. Or whatever. Right. That's telling us the degree of, of uh, destruction of, of that tissue. And it so just, the gums are what pulling away from the pulling tooth? away from the from the tooth. They're irritated. They bleed. They bleed when you touch them. It's just like uh, it's just like if you had if you're washing your hands and your, and your fingers started to bleed, that would concern you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you you should be able to brush your teeth and floss your teeth without without bleeding. But a little bit of blood when you floss. No, okay. not actually. No, not unless you're tra causing trauma from. Flossing too aggressively, you've got a bacterial infection, and it's spreading throughout your mouth. And that nowadays we can treat that. So back to the gum disease. I guess there's two ways to treat gum disease: right. the way, the surgical method, and then the way you're doing it with the laser. Right. So what is it? T tell me how it works. Well, the traditional or surgical method, and and is where you go to your dentist or your periodontist, and they do a great job at it. But what they end up doing is using a scalpel and opening those tissues up exposing that, that bone and the root surface. And then with their eyes, they're physical, visually. So they, so they cut the gums? Cut the gums, to open them up. have access what, to the roots? To the roots, to the bone, All right. and to the soft tissue there. And then they're scraping or cutting out that uh, diseased tissue. And then uh, after that's done, we then close it by suturing it, using stitches and suturing it. Now the problem, and, and, and it works really well. But the problems are, are some of the things that occur afterwards. Because of the loss of tissue, you now can have receded gums, which can be sensitive. Um, you've got uh, a long, very difficult healing process. In fact, 
you go to your uh, dentist or, or periodontist and see how many people actually complete the treatment. So they'll do it's like usually one done side at one, so, one quadrant or a half of the mouth at a time. And it is difficult to get them back to finish that treatment. But the new way that we're able to is, is with lasers. Because now lasers, we don't do any cutting. We don't do any sewing. You might have seen the little no cut, no sew buttons. Yeah, you have a no cut, no sew right, button on right, the website. Right. What does that's, that even mean? That's, well, just, that's just the logo. You we, don't do it the old way. We don't do it the old way. We don't, we don't cut. We don't use a scalpel. And we don't use sutures. What we treat it like a bac it is a bacterial. We treat the bacterial infection. What we're able to do is use the laser, which, um, well, let me go back. Because a okay. bac bacterial okay. infection the actual bacteria has a pigment, a pigment. Okay. and this laser that we use is uh, specific to that pigment. So we're able to take the laser in a simple way, go around in between the tooth and the tissue, and that laser, is, it, that laser beam is absorbed by that bacteria and obliterated. It's killed. It's dead. So all the bad bugs are dead. Bad, bad bugs are dead. Okay. Now, Big, big advantage as well is that there are areas doing a traditional way where you can't see around the corner. You can't see around that rounded root, right? Well, that laser, because of its focal distance and, and point and area, is able to get into those areas and, and kill that bacteria. So we can go in, remove the bacteria, keep the tissue in place, and present a condition in between the tooth and the tissue, a healthy condition so that the body rebuilds it itself. Fibrin, the clotting mechanism that occurs, then um, attaches to that tooth and that tissue. So the gums grab onto that tooth grab and onto the that tissue. Grab onto that tissue. Is that why they're getting Yeah, and like before, you know, those pockets we were talking about, those numbers, that's where the tissue has pulled away. Now we're able, and we see studies, blind studies, that show that that has reattached to those tissue. And Another thing that the laser does is it sets up an environment within that area between the bone, between the teeth and the tissue that, that lays down new collagen. The tissue becomes stronger. The teeth become stronger because bone is able to, to regrow and rebuild into that area. We're able to get those teeth back to where there's, they're strong. You can eat and chew and function again. And we couldn't do that traditionally. That's so somebody, like, like you said, so somebody that comes in, their teeth are loose. Maybe it hurts when they eat and chew. Right. They couldn't eat a steak or let's say apple or things like that. When you go around their mouth with a laser, clear up the gum disease. Their Kills teeth it. get stronger. Yes. Because the gums are grabbing onto the right. teeth. I just want to make sure I'm understanding this correctly. And the bone. And they can and eat the all that stuff yeah. again. They can start eating Has that, that happened? Stuff. Happens. I had, a, uh, I had a gentleman, a European gentleman. This was an interesting guy. He, um, he was told by, in fact, he had an appointment the next day from his periodontist to remove his upper left five teeth. Okay. They were beyond restore, couldn't restore them. And uh, for some, he, he found me. I don't know how he found me, but he came in and wondered if, if, if this laser thing could work. And I said, yeah, absolutely, it, it will work. He canceled his appointment. That week we saw him. Uh, we were able to d provide that procedure. We did laser treatment, a laser surgery on him. We were able to get that tissue back, get the bone so it stabilized. That was four years ago, Randy. And He's one of those people that now, I saw him not too long ago, he came back and was um, now wanted to know what he could do with his bleaching, or, you know, what he could do to, to whiten his teeth. I had this one patient, this lady, wonderful lady, who came to me because her teeth were loose, her gums were sore, they bled, she had bad breath, she um, didn't feel confident in, in, in smiling or, or just didn't feel good about herself. And she was afraid, she was a, a dental phobic, we might call, but she was afraid of, of what the possibilities were. She'd heard of surgery. I think she'd had a consultation with surgery. What we were able to do for her was to take this laser and go around her mouth. The process of that uh, procedure, her tissue started to pink and harden up and get tighter. She so got rid of the bacterial infection. Got rid of the bacterial infection. The bacterial infection was gone. She, she got rid of those bleeding gums. The teeth started to, to tighten up uh, and, and feel better. She felt better with it. She was starting to smell. She was able to chew and function and, and socially be much more comfortable with where, where she was at. She could have gone the traditional way, and it, which could have... Which was the cutting. Cutting and opening and flaying. And I know her well enough that that wouldn't have happened. And just um, 
just two weeks ago she was in, and I asked her, this was six years ago or so, I asked her, I said, so where you are today, remember what it was like? I showed her pictures of where she was and where she is now. And uh, she said it was the greatest thing she said. She feels so much better about herself. Great stories. I have many, many stories like that. Now, the gum specialists, the guys that normally handle this treatment, what do they say about this laser? Oh, they love it. Those that have gotten involved and understand the process, they love it. It's changed the lives of their practices. Um, Stephen Brown. Right, yeah. Dr. Brown out of Philadelphia. He's been on the show. He has. He heads up the Perio program. Perio program. One of universities. He does. And uh, I heard him say one time that it's been five, six years since he's even done any traditional surgery surgery because of the laser. It works. Look, I've made this laser procedure affordable for our, all of our patients. There are those in the area that are charging three times what I charge. With the same laser, same, laser. same protocol, we've had the same education, and yet I feel... And when the word gets out on something like this, yes. all the prices start coming down. Yes, they Is do. that usually what happens? That's usually what happens. And that's what will probably happen. You know, I've, I've had my laser for 10 years. My laser's paid for Now, it. you brought a video. Yes. It's, it's an animation of the laser. Right. What are we looking at? What you're, what you're looking at is the actual laser uh, going, around the t going around the tooth, in between the tooth and that tissue, those little pocket numbers that we're talking about. And it's doing its uh, process of obliterating that bacteria. Okay, let's take a look. The fiber optic tip is gently placed at the top of the periodontal pocket to begin removal of diseased tissue that lines the pocket. This is where bacteria live and build a neighborhood of its own that destroys healthy gum tissue and bone that holds your teeth in their proper position. There are specific germs and bacteria that cause gum disease. The periolase laser is designed to target and eliminate selectively only the diseased tissue and germs dissolving toxins and leaving the healthy tissue unharmed. The laser tip is then removed from the pocket and set aside. In the next step of the procedure, ultrasonic cleaners as small as a laser fiber tip are used to remove the hard deposits we call tartar or calculus from the top of the teeth and roots. These instruments use sound waves to vibrate and break apart the hard mineral calcium deposits with water flushing away the debris and cooling the instrument tip. Some hand cleaning instruments may be used at this time to remove any remaining hard calcium deposits. Then the laser is used again at the bottom of the pocket to remove any remaining diseased tissue. This pass of the laser also sterilizes the tissue and bone and completely eliminates the bad bacteria, germs, and toxins. It also stimulates the formation of a blood clot, which once formed contains fibers that reattach your tissue to the tooth surface and seal out debris and bacteria like stitches would and creates the right environment to cause the bone and other soft tissues lost from the disease to grow back. So it looks good. I mean, it looks, looks easy. To yeah, do. it looks easy, doesn't it? Well, it's actually a learning curve. Okay. <laughs> There's a process to learn how to do that properly. Because uh, I've had periodontists say, it's hard. I mean, you know, well, to learn uh, to yeah, do it. Well, the same thing. I'm sure they said the same thing when they started cutting open tissues. In it. Yeah. You know, it, there, is a, there is a learning curve. And the periodontists that are using the laser have found the benefit in it. We have less downtime. We have better acceptance of the treatment plan. We have uh, long-term studies now that are showing you, you, the efficacy of the I had the a periodontist laser. on the show. And he said that in the old days, you know, he would do the, he'd have to cut open the gums and kind of dig around in there and then sew them back right. up. He said the patients didn't want to come back Absolutely. for the rest of the treatment. Right. You right. He said, and, and most people wouldn't even accept treatment. Now, he says, with the laser, right. it's like everybody wants to do it. Yeah, they so want the to do downtime it. is a lot less, too. Absolutely. Right. I mean, you can, uh, you can have half your mouth, your full mouth at the same visit, and, and within a couple of days, you're eating and functioning. You're eating and chewing those things that, that you enjoy. So the, very little, very little bleeding. Actually, the, after the process, the bleeding has stopped. There's a clot that forms around that, and then that healing of the tissue so, already so begins. So when they floss and, and and things like that, the bleeding is stopped. It is now. We we don't have them floss immediately. We let their so once they heal up, though, heal up. Yes, they absolutely. can floss without bleeding. Now the bad breath. That's the part I'm not getting. What, the bad breath associated with gum disease. The bad. Why breath, does the laser take get rid of the bad breath? Well, the bad breath is coming from the bacteria, the the sul the sulfur gases and all the bad things that are held in that bacteria. So you get rid of the bacteria, you get rid of the the bad breath. How soon does the bad breath go? Away? Immediately, the bacteria is destroyed. It's gone. I got a great bad breath story. I had this lady come in. Her husband, you know, had the puffy gums, the loose teeth, the bleeding gums, and had 
terrible breath. They had gone to the halitosis clinics. They had done all those things. But what, the, what those clinics were missing was this is a bacteria that's in those gums down in there. They weren't, re they weren't. So it smells like what? Like a, like a, like a sulfur, a poopy diaper type smell. Okay. Can I say that? Like a rotten egg. Yeah. You could say <laughs> poopy diaper on the show. So it's a, it, it, it's, it's a bad odor. That it's comes a bad from odor. It's a sulfur smell. Okay. And we were able to use our laser. We we're able to, to go in around the teeth with that laser, obliterate that bacteria, get those tissues healthy again, get the teeth in their stable position again, and the bad breath goes away. And, so uh, his bad breath yeah, was gone. Bad breath was gone. And one of the few patients that actually gave me a kiss. The other bonus, we, in the state of Arizona, I'm less. It's You're less, less cost. expensive. I'm to less, do it. In cost, less expensive than, than now, my competitors. Now, insurance. Yes. Both with the other procedure, even the best insurance. Yes. Whether you're going to go to a periodontist, or whatever, only covers a very small portion of, of the cost. What about this? It's actually covered at a at a at a high percentage. I mean, we're getting like most of the insurance will cover at eighty percent. Okay. Okay. So that's a great benefit. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Eighty percent on most coverages for this type of procedure, and the same with even the traditional. But for people on really a tight budget, we have financing. We have someone dedicated in our office that'll help with the financing. There's no reason. If, you, if you've got those symptoms, bad breath, loose teeth, bleeding gums, that you can't get that treated. So fine, so, so, so go. You call it this LANAP protocol. Yeah. That's what they call it, this right. particular yes. laser. LANAP. LANAP, laser assisted new tissue attachment. And uh, so this is, this is the new hottest thing. You it like is. this. You use this like in your this. implant practice too. I do. We found that uh, a growing, uh, you know, implants are, are up and coming and, and many of them out there, but they present the same problem there, or they can. We get peri-implantized inflammation around the implant and the laser is great for, for helping with that as well. We also use our lasers for when we extract, uh, when we have to remove teeth because it'll, it'll help generate and, and produce uh, an environment that will help heal that, uh, that site faster. Sometimes I'm even surprised how well this laser works with gum disease. I had a, uh, a patient, friend patient, who came in uh, with all those signs, loose teeth, bleeding gums, sore, irritated, painful, and was really heading to have his teeth removed and, and dentures. I'm still amazed today that we were able to go in and use that laser, get those teeth healthy again, get the tissues healthy again, and, um, and so you saved the teeth. We saved the teeth. So teeth the amazing, are, the yeah. amazing thing was that uh, we saw him recently, and, and here's a guy who's gone that was, was heading towards dentures, and now he's considering what he can do cosmetically for the front of his teeth. You see, uh, people's uh, attitudes, people's priorities change when we use updated uh, dental technologies and, and processes. It's great. It's a great time to be so in dentistry. So how often do you use your laser? Like every once in a while, or are you doing this? I use a laser for some type of procedure each and every day. Every day? Every day. You couldn't practice without the laser? Couldn't practice without Because a lot of dentists aren't using lasers. Oh, no. Oh, absolutely. So if they took your lasers away, then what? Well, I don't know who's going to take them away from me. But I wouldn't practice. It's, it's not fun w without that. They, that. It's made that big of a difference in my practice. And now we have lasers where we can do restorations, fillings, and different things without getting in on So fillings now with lasers? Absolutely. So there's no noise, I guess. There's no noise. There's no smell. There's no numbness. And we can do that all the same. Lasers, uh, I've been involved with them since the 1990s. I've seen them come from, from, uh, from the very beginnings. And uh, they are what they are today. And and we look forward to using them the rest of my dental This is a future practice. of dentistry? It is think? a future of dentistry. Like even on regular cleanings? You Absolutely. Think if it is a bacterial infection, right. they'll go around the mouth? There's no later. sense in not doing it. You do a we're little start, bit of we're, we're starting to do that, yes. There are studies that are showing that's helped, you bet. For those that just have that one little area or having a little difficulty with bleeding or maybe the, the, the swollen tissue. Those with, with aphthous ulcers, you know the canker sore, we're able to treat those and, and relieve pain and discomfort. With lasers. So it kills the canker sore as well? Kills, well, yeah. It kills if it's a bacterial problem. It'll kill that now. Uh, but it'll, it'll help alleviate the pain and help that okay. canker sore not to come back. Now, knowing you were coming in, 30 million, depending on the Google search, right. 30 to 50 pe million people in the U.S. 
have dentures, an upper lower right. denture. And I'll put you on the spot here. So with your laser, because right. you say it stops that, how many of those people do you think you could have saved if you had caught them early with your laser? With my laser? Denturers? Realistically, you could save all of them. Now, there are those cases where there's accident, trauma, and different things like that. But if we could catch them, if we could catch them at that time when there's bleeding gums, when we can stop or, or nix that bacterial infection from, from carrying on and, and carrying on its destructive path, there's no reason to lose teeth. Number one reason we lose teeth today is gum disease. Is the gum disease. And it's that a bacterial infection in that gum So is disease. periodontal disease and gum disease that same thing? Same thing. And yeah. this laser wipes it out. Do you think Takes you can it wipe it out in Arizona? Yeah, bring it on. Bring it on. I mean, if people knew how good this is, <laughs> yeah. you probably, there's not enough dentists to even handle the load. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we know that about 80% of the adult population has some form of gum disease. And 50% of those have moderate to severe gum disease. They don't even know it. Because those signs, uh, you know, you might have a little bleeding gums. Well, you don't think it's that big a deal. Or you might have... Uh, some loose teeth. You might think, well, that's just age. That's what just happens with age. But those are signs of gum disease. And if we can catch them at that time when there's bleeding gums, loose teeth. Because it's really inexpensive if you catch them Absolutely. Early, right? I mean, yeah, you can treat that. You can treat a single area or, a, or a, a, a small area and restore that health back to those tissues and gums. You'll keep your teeth. So back to the gum disease. I guess there's two ways to treat gum disease. Right the way the surgical method and then the way you're doing it with the laser right so what is it T tell me how it works well the traditional surgical method and and is where you go to your dentist or your periodontist and they do a great job at it but what they end up doing is using a scalpel and opening those tissues up exposing that that bone and the root surface and then with their eyes, their physical, visually. So they, so they cut the gums. Cut the gums. To open have access them up, what to the roots? To the roots, to the bone. All right. And to the soft tissue there, and then they're scraping or cutting out that uh, diseased tissue, and then uh, after that's done, we then close it by suturing it using stitches and suturing it. Now the problem, and 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 it works really well, but the problems are, are some of the things that occur afterwards. Because of the loss of tissue, you now can have reseeded gums, which can be sensitive. Um, you've got uh, a long, very difficult healing process. In fact, you go to your uh, dentist or, or periodontist and see how many people actually complete the treatment. So they'll it's do usually like one side at a time? One, so, one quadrant or a half of the mouth at a time. And it is difficult to get them back to finish that treatment. But the new way that we're able to is, is with lasers, because now lasers, we don't do any cutting, we don't do any sewing. You might have seen the little no cut, no sew button. Yeah, you have a no cut, no sew right, button right, on the website. Right. What does that's, that even mean? That's, well, just, that's just the logo. You we, don't do it the old way. We don't do it the old way. We don't, we don't cut, we don't use a scalpel, and we don't use sutures. What we treat it like a bac it is a bacterial, we treat the bacterial infection. What we're able to do is use the laser, which, um, well, let me go back, because okay. a bac bacterial okay. infection, the actual bacteria has a pigment. A pigment. Okay. And this laser that we use is uh, specific to that pigment. So we're able to take the laser in a simple way, go around in between the tooth and the tissue, and that laser, is, it, that laser beam is absorbed by that bacteria and obliterated. It's killed. It's dead. So all the bad bugs are dead. Bad, bad bugs are dead. Okay. Now... Big, big advantage as well is that there are areas doing a traditional way where you can't see around the corner. You can't see around that rounded root, right? Well, that laser, because of its focal distance and, and point and area, is able to get into those areas and, and kill that bacteria. So we can go in, remove the bacteria, keep the tissue in place, and present a condition in between the tooth and the tissue, a healthy condition so that the body rebuilds it itself. Fibrin, the clotting mechanism that occurs, then um, attaches to that tooth and that tissue. So the gums grab onto that tooth grab and onto the that tissue. Grab onto that tissue. Is that why they're getting Yeah, stronger? and like before, you know, those pockets we were talking about, those numbers, that's where the tissue has pulled away. Now we're able, and we see studies, blind studies, that show that that has reattached to those tissue. And Another thing that the laser does is it sets up an environment within that area between the bone 
between the teeth and the tissue that, that lays down new collagen. The tissue becomes stronger. The teeth become stronger because bone is able to, to regrow and rebuild into that area. We're able to get those teeth back to where there's, they're strong. You can eat and chew and function again. And we couldn't do that. Now, insurance. Yes. Both with the other procedure, even the best insurance. Yes. Whether you're going to go to a periodontist, whatever, only covers a very small portion of, of the cost. What about this? It's actually covered at a, at a, at a high percentage. I mean, we're getting like most of the insurance will cover it at 80%. Okay. okay. So that's a great benefit. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. 80% on most coverages for this type of procedure. And the same with even the traditional but for people on really a tight budget, we have financing. We have someone dedicated in our office that'll help with the financing. There's no reason, if, you, if you've got those symptoms, bad breath, loose teeth, bleeding gums, that you can't get that treated. It, it just dawned on me. So the health crowd, the, right. like the whole foods crowd, right, right. Uh, the people I hang out with, right? <laughs> We're, we're all afraid of antibiotics. And when you think of right. gum disease treatment, they give you some antibiotics, right? right? Don't need to use antibiotics. So with the laser we don't use antibiotics with, with our laser and LINAP procedure. The bacteria is destroyed. Reason you're getting, well, and, and part of the problem is the bacteria, we, we think that it's localized, but actually it bleeds through into the gums into the bloodstream. So we can kill that bacteria. We can kill that source of that bacteria. It doesn't bleed into the bloodstream. Your, your antibiotic, is going systemically through your through your body. It's not so. It's killing some of the good bugs. Yeah, too. absolutely. So the we, laser only kills the kills the, bad, the bugs. bad bugs. We leave the good bugs. Interesting. All right. So this is uh, this so is where it's wants to make an appointment with you. You take insurance for this. You say yes, it's like eighty percent coverage. In we some do. Cases. Uh, yeah, we do. Um, uh, you have financing. We have financing. There's a no fee consultation. We'd love to. And I'm going to hold you that. Gonna... So you're more than half the price of some of the leaders yes. using the same machine. S same machine, in your area. same technology. Well, that's yeah. nice. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Very interesting. And we've also had you on the program talking about the mini implants. So no yes. more dentures either. No more dentures. Not in your practice. No more gum disease, no more dentures. All right. Thanks so much for coming <laughs> on the show. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez for now. I wish you could help. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez the authority on health issues.